Any coffee addicts here? Raise your hands. Well guys, you are not alone. Coffee is probably the most often consumed beverage in the world besides water. Hello guys, this is Agnes and the Bites Fitness YouTube channel. In this video we are continuing with our food fundamentals series and we are talking about whether you should drink coffee or not. As for myself, I was a huge coffee fan a couple of years back. Then I started to feel that it upsets my tummy and I don't feel very well after drinking. I still drink a cup every once in a while. But I switched to green and white tea to get my daily dose of caffeine in and I feel much better. Guys, how much coffee do you drink? I'm curious, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you rather enjoy something else like I do, let me know that as well. Coffee is one of the most often consumed beverages in the world. People usually associate it with caffeine intake and the energizing effects. But studies show that coffee is much more than that and it has several health benefits as well. Coffee contains antioxidants and important vitamins and minerals like vitamin B2 and B3, magnesium and potassium. First of all, coffee is a great energy booster. It contains caffeine and it can make you feel less tired and increase your energy levels. Caffeine can have a positive effect on your mood, your ability to focus and your brain function. Various studies show that caffeine can help reduce the risk of certain brain diseases like Parkinson's disease. Coffee can also help you burn fat and lose weight because it increases your metabolism. Coffee can enhance your physical performance. It can increase adrenaline levels in your blood, so it can be a good idea to drink a cup of coffee half an hour before you start exercising. Coffee can be beneficial for your heart health if you consume it in moderation. Studies show that coffee can have a positive effect on blood pressure and also lower cholesterol levels. Coffee increases blood pressure, so it is great for people who are suffering from low blood pressure. Coffee can help protect against heart failure and heart disease. Coffee can have a beneficial effect for another huge chronic disease, diabetes as well. People who drink more coffee can have a lower risk of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. Coffee can be good for your liver health. Coffee intake can reduce the risk of liver cancer and other liver diseases like gallstone disease. Like other caffeine beverages, coffee needs to be consumed in moderation. Some people cannot tolerate caffeine or coffee. In this case, they need to opt for another drink. As side effects, coffee can cause heartburn and increase anxiety. Also, never drink coffee on an empty stomach because you will do more harm than good. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also leave a comment below. Share it with a friend who might like it as well. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the Bites Fitness YouTube channel down here because we post new videos every day. Until next time, bye guys! At Bites Fitness we help those who are living a healthy lifestyle and make time to cook for themselves by providing health and nutrition information and healthy recipes. If you are interested, then make sure to subscribe to the Bites Fitness YouTube channel because we post new videos daily.